Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a DIY renter friendly um, ceiling boob light fix um, w where you don't actually take your, your renter friendly or your renter lights out. You just keep them up there and you kind of create um, like a lampshade, I guess, for them. So this, I'm gonna do it for our entryway. Um, this is our rent light, renter light, that came with the apartment when we moved in. Um, I don't like them. I have replaced other ones in our house. Like, those lights were all around our house, but I did replace the one here in the kitchen. And then I did replace one in the bathroom and one in the bedroom. But this time I'm not gonna replace the whole light fixture. I just wanna create a lampshade for that light fixture. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna measure how big the ring should be and show you how I'm going to attach it when, once it's done. So you see this light, I am gonna take this part here off um, and this ring will likely stay on. But what I'm gonna do is kind of conceal this ring so that the light shade comes down like this. Um, I'm gonna measure from here to here. It's about 16 inches minus that there is, I'm gonna say about 15 inches. Again, this thing is coming off. So I'm just gonna show you what I bought. Um, now everything that I bought here is from the dollar store. <clears throat> so you can see what I'm working with. Um, I'm gonna do a two-tiered boho light fixture that's gonna sit around the top of, that's gonna um, put, sit around the top of the light. Um, you'll see that when, when I'm done. But what I did buy was a, um, a metal ring, which was part of uh, a strainer type thing that you buy from the kitchen section. Now there isn't anything, it's just this metal ring. I don't know if you can see on the inside there. There isn't anything in here. It's not very sturdy, but because you're only putting yarn around it, I don't think it'll be a problem. So I've just bent this back into shape from taking the handle. There was a handle here and mesh in the center. We took that off. Um, now this is not the size of the light fixture that's on the ceiling. This is actually smaller, so this will be smaller than, this will be the smaller ring. Now I have two options from the dollar store that I bought to do the larger ring. I have this um, wired twine in the jute color because I am doing more boho style and it does match our natural pine wood in our, in our apartment. So I have this, which bends really nicely and I could make the size of the, the large circle on the top. Or I bought these multi-purpose zip ties in the like extra large, size. Um, these were three dollars. There's five in the package but I'm, I was thinking that maybe I could make this into the circle, make sure that it's the right size, and then put this at the top. Uh, so here I'm just gonna cut up an old duvet cover that we had um, laying around for the fabric of the light fixture. Um, it does have black on the other on the one side of it but I think that it'll look really cool with the light fixture and when it's done.
was done doing the big um, circle for the top tier, I created a small circle with that wire that I had bought from the dollar store and continued the method of tying those um, fabric pieces to it. Okay, so I have the two rings done, and this is the smaller ring, and then this is the larger ring, and I want to attach them together, so I have extra uh, wire here, oops, I have extra wire here, so I'm going to cut them to, um, i got to figure out how long I want them to sit inside the other one, so if you would look, so if we put this one over top of this one, and kind of layer it in like this. How low do you should I set this one like that maybe low which is probably four inches to make it look a tear effect I don't know if you can even see that maybe about four to six inches and I'm gonna cut the piece of wire let's see I'm gonna go safe and I'm gonna do I think I can get eight inches I think I can get a couple pieces of eight inches So this will just, cutting it a little bit longer than what you want, um, will give you the, the opportunity to tie it. So I can get four pieces, which actually works out to attach those four um, and into four corners. So, that. Now for this part, I'm going to make a shape like this. I'm gonna take the smaller one, shape it all out. And I'm going to kind of place it in four parts here. I'm gonna, once it's placed on the smaller one, I'm going to twist it into place, like kind of like a twist tie. But I'm gonna make sure that I move all the fabric out of the way so it almost is concealed. I'm gonna do that with the other three pieces here. So I'm gonna kind of go around and make sure that they're on equal places so that it holds equally. Twist it again. It was actually easier to do it with the fabric than it was to do it with the yarn. And I think it actually turned out a little bit better because now it'll look a little bit more full with the yarn like you saw earlier in the video, um, it, didn't, it didn't look great. So I have them like this. Now I'm going to put the big ring over top. And I'm gonna move in these things here. I'm going to twist it again. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just fold it over like this. It. I'm gonna twist it all the way up just so that when you're connecting it doesn't slide down. So then it's connected. So then once you set it on here, you can just kind of fold the little pieces over here and twist them in and push them down so that they're kind of hidden. And you can do that with all the other ones here. If you need some help with twisting this, you could always get pliers or something. And then you're gonna shake it out and make sure everything's facing the right way. Some of mine are not right now because I basically placed it on top of the other one. It's a little hard to do with only one person. I will say that. Make sure that it's all flat. And then you can see two tiers. I might cut the outside of it just to make it look like it's actually two tiers because I think the bottom of the small one is just the same length as the top one here. So I might cut them. And now to attach it to the actual thing, I'll show you how to do that next.
the um, wire that we had from the dollar store to attach it to the holes in the plate of the light fixture. This is just how it looks. The ring is a little bit smaller, but it does hang in there nicely. So here I'm just trimming the outside layer um, from the top ring. And once you see it, you'll see that it looks a lot, a lot nicer with the two tiered effect. Um, when I first put it up, it did not have the two tiers. Basically the two levels were the same length. The final result turned out way better than I could have thought it would. I wish that I had used yarn, but the yarn when I did do it on the rings, it didn't turn out very nice. As you can see, there are two tiers. It's very boho. It's very pretty in the actual entryway, and it does add a little bit of interest when you first walk in the door. 